Hello, and welcome to my video, Top 10 Reverse Engineer Technology, allegedly. For years, the possibility of alien contact has been an interesting topic. Much of the discussions bring up the idea that we may have been given technology from aliens or even reverse engineered it from recovered crash sites. The idea of reverse engineering came front and center after the event at Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. Now, I'm not taking away from the incredible human minds here on Earth, but I'll admit that things seem to have ramped up mysteriously after the Roswell crash. I'll save my opinions on Roswell for a later video. Number 10. Integrated Circuits This item is something that many of us have grown accustomed to, and many would have issues living without it. A German engineer named Werner Jacobi first patented the integrated circuit in 1949, but Jack Kirby is credited with the first working model in 1959. By today's standards, it was quite primitive, but in 1961, the first circuit that looked similar to what we see today was developed, although it looked rather alien. Claims from whistleblowers in the military claim the idea was seen in the Roswell crash. Number 9. Fiber Optics This product is another device that is said to have been found on the Roswell crash. Some say that the technology was around in 1840, but that was just the observation of light through a stream of water. In 1956, the first patent on fiber optic technology was given to three researchers at the University of Michigan for use in a gastroscope. The first fiber optic cable for transmission system was developed in 1965 by a German physicist named Manfred Bayorner. Later, NASA used fiber optics in the cameras they sent to the moon, but the devices were classified and you had to have proper, proper security clearances to handle one. Number 8. Laser Technology the idea of laser technology goes back to theories Albert Einstein had, but the first modern style laser idea wasn't produced until 1957. The history of this technology is a bit difficult to trace just because, coincidentally, note my sarcasm, around the same time two different labs produced it for patents and the lawsuits that came lasted for years. What is interesting is the fact that one of the creators in the lawsuit was Bell Labs. Bell Labs has played a part in most of the technology on this list, many of which were quotations discovered not long after Roswell and have strong ties to the military. Number 7. Microchip Implants This topic is quite popular in the public eye as of recent. The idea of implanting microchips is already being offered for our pets, and it seems the branching to humans is a possibility. Many laws in the United States make it illegal to forcibly require someone to go under this surgery, but it makes me wonder where this idea came from. Many people who have been reported as abducted from aliens also later find small devices under their skin. A doctor by the name of Roger Lear claimed to have successfully moved many of these foreign objects. He stated that most of the materials he pulled out emitted radio signals. I actually had to have a chest x-ray when I cracked my ribs, and when the doctors looked at the image, this is what it looked like. A black box with three wires coming off the top, and no, I don't have a pacemaker. Since I was about 12 till present, I have four bumps just under either side of my rib cage on my stomach. It looks like something was inserted to spread the skin. I've had many doctors look at them and no one knows what it is. I definitely believe in implantation happening. Number 6. Solar Panels I'm not so sure about this item, only because it sort of can go either way. Forms of solar utilizing devices have been around since 1839, but these devices were used mainly for heat. From my research, it appears early devices were more like a magnifier in the sun principle. It wasn't until the 1950s when, you guessed it, Bell Labs produced the form not long after the system was used to power many of the crafts that we put into space, with the Vanguard 1 being the first satellite equipped with them. Number 5. The SR-71 This topic recently came up during a conversation I had had with my dad. The SR-71 was first flown in 1964. 
This airplane was way more advanced in design and technology than any other planes at the time. Not to mention, it looks like a UFO when you look at it from the front. The closest thing to this plane at the time was the Lockheed U-2S, but it still resembles the planes of today. These planes were developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Work facility. This facility is a top secret area that is described as, and I quote, a group within an organization given a high degree of autonomy and unhampered by bureaucracy, tasked with working on advanced or secret projects. It is interesting to compare this craft to what was available at the time. Number four, the saucer shape. In doing research on this topic, I found many sources for alien tech, but no one ever discussed this idea. When asked to describe a UFO, most everyone states the saucer shape. While I think that about 50% of sightings are from our own military, it begs an interesting theory. It seems the saucer shape may have been inadvertently given to us due to it being the common shape of UFOs. A designer by the name of John Jack Frost started work building the Avro car in the early 1950s. This craft looked exactly like a UFO and it soon garnered the attention of the military who funded the project. After the plant encountered financial difficulties, the military pulled funding and gave the money to the, here it comes, Bell Aircraft Corporation. Number three, night vision. The first form of night vision was developed for the German Army in 1939, and it was later adapted in the U.S. military and called the Vampire Man Portable System. As you can see from the images, this technology really wasn't night vision as it utilized an external spotlight. It wasn't until the mid-1950s when actual night vision scopes were given to the military. It should be stated here that once again it was reported that the pilots of the crash in the Roswell accident had night vision technology in the form of almost a contact lens. Number two, titanium. I hesitated to put this on the list as to it being a bit of a broad theory, but then I decided I would include it and let you decide. Titanium was discovered in 1791 and was later added to the periodic table. For years, the mineral wasn't utilized, mainly due to being difficult to extract, being that it was always formed around other minerals in the earth. It wasn't until the 1950s when the military started using titanium in its production of aircraft. In fact, the earlier mentioned SR-71 was made out of 85% titanium. Now this once forgotten material is used in everything from knives to rings to even surgical implementations. Number 1. On October 4, 1957, Sputnik 1 was launched into orbit, looking like something from out of this world. This technology came suddenly enough that the American people feared what the Russians were planning to do with the device. It spurred the space race, which led to the United States eventually landing on the moon. If you believe we did. Which I do. I know you're probably shocked by that. In the 1960s, the company AT&T which is owned by Bell Labs, filed paperwork with the FCC, or the Federal Communications Commission, to launch a communication satellite into space. NASA got involved with the project, and suddenly satellite technology was being utilized a great deal. After all this, I now have a huge urge to play XCOM. With that, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.